Hello guys, this is the special, special, special recipe. It's so great, very good. I can say you can copy a lot of stuff, but this one is very special. You never see something like this. This is like uh, my stuff, okay? This is, I don't know what I, I supposed to put the name. This is supposed to be a sangria, but sangria in the right way, like from Spain or Portugal or somebody in the Latin America, they copy that. Normally, when you go to the restaurant, they don't, they put, you say sangria. Sangria, the word like sangria is like a blood. That's the reason the red color. And normally you say, I want a sangria. They put a cheap wine, no very good wine, sugar, apples, and slices or little pieces of orange. Let me tell you something. You never, you can put the apples in slices with sugar for overnight and you never get melted or with maceration. That's the reason I never use orange in pieces or apples. I use the real fruit like it absorb the liquor, you know, like a maceration. This is the reason I cut peaches, mango, and a strawberry because they are soft. This I just cut, but this one is overnight with sugar. I don't even smash this, but with the sugar is getting melting. You see all the juices there? This is the difference because this is a melting with wine. I want to put triple sec or Cointreau. If you got more money, you can use Cointreau. I want to use a liquor, hard liquor. Can be, I put Pisco. Pisco is the is from grapes, like a grappa in Italy. The Italian people understand me. The Mexican, they can put tequila, any tequila. It's not a problem. You don't need to get like a $250 bottle. In Pisco, we have like a $300 bottle also. No, you can use any liquor. Even you can use rum. Don't care about the color. If it's gold or like a white, you can use a vodka. Because when you mix everything, you don't even notice this like, oh, it's Don Julio, Don Patron, or Pisco 3R or something. You cannot. Because we have a lot of ingredients, but everything put some taste in this. Okay, I put the wine. Red wine you never put in the fridge. You drink like a room temperature. Sometimes they call chambre. But I put my wine, the big bottle of wine, like a 1.5 liters, I put in the fridge to keep cool because I don't want to use ice, ice cubes, like regular ice cubes here. I want to use, I want to give you the surprise. It's a kind of, kind of work for this, but it's the special moment for this. And I put the two glasses I want to use in the freezer for one night. I wet I put immersion water and then I put in the freezer. That means it's coming while well, like a frozen glasses. This is very special. Orange juice, ginger ale. I don't care about the name for the ginger ale. Ginger ale. And I want to use, in this case, pisco. You can use any, any stuff I told you. Triple sec or cuantro. And the fruit for like a chunky fruit to fill the fruit. And this one I want to put in the blender to mix here to more like a nectar, like a pulp. You know, that's the reason I put this in the blender and this is the fruit. Five ounces for orange juice, five ounces for ginger ale. This is your taste. If you want to put like a four ounces or five ounces of pisco, you can put or tequila or vodka or whiskey. I put only two. This is, these are two ounces. And I want to put two ounces for triple sec. Like triple sec is like orange liquor, you know? And I want to put this fruit and this fruit in the blender to make like a more like a mushy flavor with the wine, with everything. Okay, let me start with this. Okay, my friends, I blend the fruit like this, but remember I put the maceration. It's so juicy, I put the sugar there. You can say you can put all the sugar you want or less, depend your taste. Why I use this kind of wine is the Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. It's not expensive, one and a half liter, it's only $9.50. I know you can find the Australian wine for the same combination, maybe no Merlot, but Cabernet Sauvignon, and it's strong. And that's the reason I don't want to put cheap wines, because the cheap wine is regular wine with sugar. When you go to the supermarket, I want to tell you, don't go to the sangria wine you waste your money because you are buying the cheapest wine with a lot of sugar and spices 
you don't want it you want a real wine and then you add the sugar you don't need any other spices like a vanilla cinnamon no this is the jar and remember i put in the fridge the wine because this re recipe needs like a cold wine because remember i don't want to use like a water ice because i don't want to melt all the rich rich uh, flavor for the wine with water some people drink so slow and the ice is melting and finally you can find what water with kind of wine i want to keep the flavor the spirit for this beautiful kind of sangria for me it's not sangria now i want to put the fruit i told you eight ounces half pound or less or more depends how how much you want it eh? then you can put the melting stuff i put in the blender look how beautiful is this then you put the wine everything there believe me when you try this you will say what is this it's the fruit it's not when you drink everybody when they drink sangria and the hot weather they say oh my god this is delicious really really the apple is there you, you don't want to eat you don't want to eat uh, showing the apple it's not flavor an orange with the with the skin no this is the real one now i want to put two ounces of any liquid i told you and two ounces of triple sec this is good oh it smells so good like orange and believe me it's a very cheap bottle it's like a, to give you the you know i love to give you the prices this is like a one liter and it's like five dollars you don't need to go to the very expensive one orange juice five ounces you can put more if you want it more like a fruity flavor oh i put this shirt because it's like a sangria this is the color not a watermelon even i round it like a watermelon no i'm not a watermelon i say sangria okay this is the color and ginger ale ginger ale give you the sparkling flavor okay then you can stir here it's cold it's very cold because the wine was like for two days in the fridge you can put for one day now surprise i want to show you something i got the two glasses look the beautiful it's very cold i put for like a one night with water and then i put in the freezer it looks so beautiful and i made the ice with the sangria why the day before i got some wine i put like a mango orange juice the same stuff like i got here but a small portion i put in the blender and i made the ice cube like two trays that means it's a lot let me put the ice there and you know what is the problem when you make this everybody's asking i want more ice i want more ice and you feel like they got the the, the ice cube with sangria and they start Come on, this is for the drink. I say no more, three, four glass. That's it, <laughs> because it's too much work. Now, I want to put the, the wine. So strong, this is the wine. Now, I want to put some fruit. Oh my God, this is so delicious. I want to tell you, you can do, of course, maybe it's not sangria. You can make this with the white wine. It's so beautiful because you can see, because it's clear, and you see no water is involved in this crime. This is two and a half uh, liters, okay? Now I want to put the garnish. Look how beautiful. Tell me if it's not fantastic. Let me try. <laughs> oh my goodness believe me this is really special fruit put any fruit in south america even we have the the fruit they call chirimoya if somebody travels to south america you find in peru in chile ecuador i think and bolivia because they need mediterranean weather for that chirimoya they call cleopatra's fruit was the favorite fruit in those times and in spain it's very famous also the chirimoya it's white flesh with the seeds here in america only one piece is like seven dollars it's fantastic because it's very moist and sometimes they put in colombia they use guanabana it's a sour soup they call but chirimoya is the top in puerto rico they'll call they'll call anone or danone and it's the same family but it's not the same Chirimoya for me is the queen or all the chirimoyas. It's, it's fantastic, believe me. When American people go there, they feel like, 
what is this? Why we don't have this in America? And I think they have in California, but the production covers just the production for California. They cannot use for the rest of America and not for even export because it's so delicious. Somebody told me that. Okay, thank you for watching because I'm thirsty right now. Follow me, subscribe, it's free. You don't need to pay a penny. That's helped me a lot. They give me the energy. Every single time I say, oh my God, I have another subscription. I feel so good. I feel, oh my God, I'm doing good. <laughs> thank you. Chin chin, shares.